Hello friends, uh, you must uh, recall from the discussion that what determines the slope of LM curve and what determines the slope of IS curve. In that discussion, I have mentioned that the factors which affect the slope of LM curve, the factors which affect the slope of LM curve are two. One is K and another one is H. What is K? K is the responsiveness of money demand to change in income. And what is H? The responsiveness of money demand to change in interest rate. Right? So uh, I have discussed that if K rises, uh, LM curve becomes steeper. If K falls, LM curve becomes flatter. Right? Uh, similarly, if H rises, that is sensitivity or responsiveness of money demand to change in interest rate rises, right? LM curve becomes flatter and if H falls, LM curve becomes steeper, right? So, uh, it is the market conditions, uh, uh, what you call payment systems, people's habit with respect to using what uh, medium of exchange, etc. Uh, uh, the factors which determine the value of K and similarly the value of H right is determined by the taste and preferences of uh, people with respect to bonds and uh, money and market conditions in the economy right now here I have got two cases of LM curve one where LM curve is flatter and other where LM curve is, is steeper right you recall the factors which affect the slope of LM curve K and H. If K rises, right, LM curve slope will rise. If K falls, LM curve slope falls, right. If H rises, slope of LM curve falls and if H falls, slope of LM curve rises, right. So I have taken here the first case of LM, right, where there is a given value of K and uh, H, right. And if uh, fiscal policy is followed, right, fiscal policy is followed, right. So let us first make the assessment that how effective will be fiscal policy in raising the level of output when we have got this little flatter LM curve, right. Now, when we have got this LM curve, right, government expenditure rises, IS curve which is associated with the previous level of government expenditure. Now, as government expenditure rises, IS curve shifts rightward, and the extent of shift of uh, rightward shift of IS curve is equal to uh, delta uh, uh, sorry alpha g into delta g. That is your rightward uh, horizontal shift of IS curve, right? Now, once expansionary fiscal policy is followed with the intention to raise the level of output, what happens that Given this LM curve, your equilibrium level of output rises from Y0 to Y1, right? Equilibrium level of income rises from Y0 to Y1, right? And what happens to interest rate? Interest rate rises from I0 to I1, right? I0 to I1. Now, on the other hand, in a situation where either K is higher, right? As compared to the first situation, with, res with respect to which we have drawn this LM curve, right? If K rises, slope of LM curve rises, or H falls, right? H falls, and due to which LM curve becomes more steeper. So we get now this LM prime, right? Now, given this LM prime, and then which, which is being decided by either higher value of K or lower value of H, how effective the same government expenditure would be in influencing the level of output, right? So, uh, initial equilibrium point is at E0 that gives you Y0 level of equilibrium income, Y0 level of interest rate. Government expenditure rises with intention to raise the level of government, uh, sorry, equilibrium level of income. But then what we end up with, that we end up from uh, 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 E0 to E2. And that results into what? Rise in income from Y0 to y2 right and why interest rate has gone up from i0 to i2 so what we are observing when lm curve is steeper fiscal policy is less effective 
right? You can think of a situation when LM curve is vertical, then fiscal policy will not be effective at all. So we, you can't blame the finance minister or the prime minister of the government, right, for not raising the level of output. Whatever they would be doing with the government expenditure, but that will have little effect on level of output. So the level of output in the, output in the economy is not merely determined by the magnitude of government expenditure, but also the macroeconomic conditions which determine how responsive your money demand to change in income is and how responsive your money demand to change in interest rate interest rate is right however here it is not only the uh, slope of uh, lm curve which is going to decide the effectiveness of fiscal policy right remember fis effectiveness of fiscal policy we are measuring in terms of in terms of how much fiscal policy is able to change the level of output right okay so that is what your effectiveness of fiscal policy okay the way slope of LM curve decides how effective our fiscal policy would be. Similarly, the slope of IS curve also decides, given the slope of LM curve, how effective our fiscal policy would be. And here I am going to discuss that to what extent the slope of IS curve determines the effectiveness of fiscal policy. Right? Uh, we have got this LM curve drawn given money demand functions and money supply, right? First, we have got this black line IS curve, black line IS curve, right? As you know, that the slope of IS curve is determined by uh, alpha G and B, right? B comes in investment function, right? And alpha G is the multiplier, okay? Uh, now, alpha G is determined by the value of tax rate and the value of marginal propensity to consume. If marginal propensity to consume rises, alpha G rises. If tax rate falls, then alpha G rises. If tax rate falls, alpha g rises and if tax rate rises alpha g uh, falls right here b is nothing but the sensitivity of investment to change in interest rate so these two factors affect the slope of is curve how do they affect that we know from the discussion of the factors which affect the slope of is curve just to recall as alpha g rises the slope of is curve falls IS curve becomes flat and if alpha G falls, uh, IS curve becomes steeper. Same thing with respect to B, that if the sensitivity of investment to change in interest rate falls, IS curve becomes steeper and if B rises, IS curve becomes flat, right? So given alpha G and B, we have got this black line IS curve. And let us say government increases the expenditure by delta G that leads to rightward shift of IS curve to IS prime by the magnitude or horizontal distance of alpha G into delta G, right? And we reach from E0 to E1 that gives us Y1 equilibrium, new equilibrium income and I1 interest rate. So how much fiscal policy is effective when slope is slope of IS curve is higher? right uh, why not y1 but on the other hand suppose we take another situation where alpha g is uh, what you call higher right that makes is curve flatter or b is higher that makes is curve flatter so you can take any one of these two right determining the slope of is curve right so suppose given alpha g, right, b rises and that makes is curve steeper, sorry, is, uh, is curve flatter, right. Now given this flatter is curve, 
right? Uh, initial uh, given government expenditure, initial equilibrium is at point A naught, and that gives us I naught interest rate and Y naught equilibrium income. Government expenditure rises by the same magnitude because we want to measure how effective rise in government expenditure is going to uh, be in changing the level of equilibrium income in two situations, right? And those two situations are being characterized by two different slopes of IS curve, right? So now suppose B has gone up and IS curve has become uh, flatter, you get this point equilibrium at E0. Now government expenditure rises, what will happen? This green IS curve will shift rightward, right? This IS0 curve will shift rightward by the same magnitude because the value of multiplier is the same, right? So it shifts rightward and then what happens? It intersects the LM curve at E1 prime. That gives us why, how much output? Why not output, right? So when IS curve is flatter, the same rise in government expenditure is leading to what? Is leading to what? Rise in output, which is less than rise in output, which happens in a situation when IS curve is flat. Then what happens? Is IS curve more effective or is fiscal policy more effective or less effective? In the second situation, with higher value of B, as compared to the previous situation, it is less effective, right? So what do you find? That finance minister or government raises the same level of expenditure, but the value of higher B is making fiscal policy to be less effective. Income rises only by a smaller amount, right? Uh, what is the logic? The logic is simple that since when you are raising the uh, government expenditure, income rises, right? When income rises in money market, money demand rises. When money demand rises, rate of interest rises. But investment being more responsive to change in interest rate because B is higher, right? That rise in interest rate causes more fall in private investment and therefore more fall in income. And therefore, net rise in income is smaller as compared to a situation when B is smaller, right? Where rise in income is more. Why? Because since B is smaller, then the rise in interest rate causes less fall in investment and therefore net rise of income is greater right is that clear that how uh, how does slope of is curve determine the effectiveness of fiscal policy so we have discussed two cases one that how does slope of lm curve determines uh, effectiveness of fiscal policy and we have also discussed how the slope of is curve itself determines the effectiveness of fiscal policy. So this is what the role of slope of uh, IS and LM curve is in making uh, assessment about the effectiveness of fiscal policy, right? And algebraically also you can look at the effectiveness of fiscal policy, right? Uh, on the basis of fiscal policy multiplier. Right, because the multiplier consists of the fiscal policy multiplier that is your gamma, right? It consists of uh, value of B, it consists of value of alpha G, right? It consists of value of H, and there you would find that all factors which are affecting the slope of LM curve and IS curve, right? are actually determining the magnitude of fiscal policy multiplier and that would decide to what extent your income would change due to change in government expenditure, right? Right? So, uh, so I mean, if you look at the, that change in income as per algebraic discussions, right? It is FPM multiplied by delta G, right? So, FPM is decided by what you call uh, alpha G, B and H, right, uh, which play role in determinations of slope of uh, IS and LM curve, right. So here, 
algebraically also we have discussed that how change in magnitude of fpm right is going to decide how effective g would be in changing the level of output and graphically also we have seen that how factors which affect the slope of lm curve and slope of is curve play a role in determination of effectiveness of fiscal policy that is to say effectiveness of role of finance minister or the government in determining the level of output in the economy thanks a lot for watching this